Hey, how was oh. chemo? It was uh, it's well. I mean, once you once you learn what to expect, you can you can gear up for oh, oh. oh. Okay, okay, just breathe, just breathe and go with it. I don't have a lot of options. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I got it under control. If either one of us could do that, we wouldn't be here. Well, you got me there. I think that Dr. Radcliffe is quite a hunk. Could I borrow your wig for my next treatment? Stop it. Actually, I think I'd just like to be on my own right now. Why? Why, Monica? Why is it such a big deal to let somebody help you? Why do you have to face this on your own? I have told you before, I'm lousy at accepting help. I am a doctor. I am a helper, not a helpee. So why'd you come to La Mesa? For help. I feel invaded by the cancer, by the chemo, by doctors, by the blasted positivism. I fill my veins up with some sort of a gunk that just makes my stomach burn. It's undignified. And what is worse, there are witnesses. No, it's worse if you're shut up in your own little box with only your own poison to breathe. They're going to shut us in boxes eventually, Paige. We won't have to worry about breathing. But the point of this place is to make that later rather than sooner. And that kind of mindset is what happens when you try to do it all on your own. I want the space. I don't want arguments, and I definitely don't want hand-holding. Monica, I don't know if you know what you need. Or even what you have. <laughs> I'm sorry, but do you know what I would give to have my husband here with me through this? And at least I thank God every day. I've got my daughter. She needs me. Maybe I can't get through this for myself, but I've got Emily. Emily is a child. My family is grown up. My husband has other obligations. And I couldn't stand them hovering around me. That's why I told them not to come. And so this is what you got. What I wanted. Space. Space or distance. I'm really too sick for semantics. There's a difference. Space is something you, you move around in. Distance is something you have to bridge. And sometimes if you're not careful it can go too far you rest I'll see you later Hi. How's it going? Oh, please don't ask. Uh-oh. Sounds like I better. Alan, just tell me something. Why is it that some people get to screw up over and over again and people find it charming? And then there are those of us that can make one little mistake and we're held responsible for it indefinitely. Getting ready for a little wallow, are we? I told you not to ask. Sorry, but you're usually the first one of us to detect any trace of self-pity and hit it over the head. Does it have anything to do with you lighting into Lucy yesterday? Amy. Ah, oh, Amy. It figures, Amy. No doubt I made her day, giving her something to babble all over the place, no matter that I happen to be justified. Well, let me tell you something, Alan. It's about time somebody read Lucy some down-home truths, and it was absolutely clear to me that no mail was going to. Well, it's true. The woman flits from disaster to disaster, from situations that she herself has created, and you guys stand in line to support her. Not me. I did my bit, Lucy Wise. 
Oh, yeah, but not one of you ever called the woman on her behavior. Take Tony and Kevin. Both of them seem to conveniently forget that she was the one that graced all of our lives with Damien in the first place, yet neither one of them is about to forget what I said. Do you have any idea how awfully bitter you're starting to sound? Don't I have a right to be? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Don't I have a right to be angry? I don't have a right to any feelings at all, it seems. Who says? Tony, just about. In order to be acceptable to Tony, I have to accept every single thing that happened without comment and take total responsibility for all of it, and then maybe I will gain absolution. But what if I can't? What if I don't want to? What if I just can't do it? I hope you didn't say that to Tony. Actually, I did, among other things. What does that mean? You're ready to deep six your marriage? What you call expressing how I feel? No, that's what I call creating an atmosphere that's so negative that Tony's going to walk away from you for good. Is that what you want? In other words, Dr. Scott Palmer, even though the goal of therapy is Dr. to better Scott communicate Palmer, our feelings, I am not allowed to feel or communicate anything negative? In other words, Bobby, it's time to put a sock in it. You're not communicating, you're having a temper tantrum. Therapy is supposed to be about rebuilding, not ranting and raving like a six-year-old about what all the other kids on the block are getting away with. No. Oh, you know what this is really about? This is about the fact that men, all of you, cannot tolerate emotion. Not yours, not anybody else's. Well, let me tell you something. I am not going to buy into male repression. I am going to have my feelings, whatever they may be. Who says you can't? It's acting on them that got you in trouble in the first place. Whatever happened to unconditional love? I think it's a myth. Certainly between a man and a woman in an intimate relationship. It um, may exist between a parent and a child, but even that can be damaged. Tony's not the father you never had. The one who wasn't there to tell you that all of your actions are going to have consequences. Will you stop and come down off your high horse? I'm sorry. I just think that it was time to say it straight. Okay. It's just that it feels to me that all Tony wants to do is win. He can't. You slept with another man. It's irreversible. I'll listen to you, like you and Monica have both straight a couple of times. I said it's irreversible, not unforgivable. But how do you expect Tony to forgive you if all you keep doing is throwing obstacles up in his face? <sighs> Bobby. All you are going to do is shut him out and scare him off. And I can tell you, as a husband who is being shut out, it makes you want to stop trying. Is Monica having tantrums? I wish. You're the one that's having the temper tantrums. She's withdrawn about 2,000 miles. But either way, a guy can't get near you. I'm telling you, Bobby, it hurts. Don't do it. I don't mean to. I, I just, I don't think... If you need to blow off some steam, do it to me. I don't mind. Oh, great. Well, you could have fooled me. Hey, listen. I got a great idea. You know, Ned, he's singing at the Outback tonight. Why don't you come with me? We'll go together. We'll have a group catharsis. <laughs> come on. Don't jerk your chin at me like that. Okay. On one condition. No more down-home truths. I promise. You're not mad at me, are you? Yeah, I am. But I'll get over it. Good. I need all the pals I can get. 